Hi, I'm Ben from Spitfire's support team. I'm here to explain our Evo grid for anyone that hasn't seen it before. Firstly, what are evolutions or Evos? They're long notes that evolve over time before returning to their original state and then looping. The lengths are different across each evolution to increase the randomness of, of what you create. On our grid here, we have 48 evolutions across the top. And you can access the later evolutions using this scroll bar here. And then on the left hand side, we have the range of our keyboard split up and uh, notified by the center note in each range. So to assign an evolution to a note range, we choose the peg, put the peg in the relevant hole. So if we wanted evolution three for middle C, for example, that would be around B3. And if we play middle C, you can see that the the note grays out there showing you which one which range applies so to assign evo 3 we simply click now each of these evolutions is split into sections so we have yellow which is traditional blue which is episodic and red which is extreme you might not want to assign these all manually by clicking around. So we have this die up here, or dice, which enables you to randomize the arrangement. So randomize with any, and you can see down here the, uh, the colors signify uh, which type of evolution you're using. And we can randomize by the different sections, so randomize with traditional. Randomize with episodic or randomize with extreme. If you want to know the descriptions of each evolution, then you can look in our manual or on the product page or indeed in the left hand side here, we have a, a folder which has all the individual evolutions in there and they're all described in there as well. Another option here is you can draw a line between two points so you can click on uh, one peg and then shift click to draw a line between two points. Now the last thing I'll mention here is down the bottom uh, we have the option to turn effects on or off per Evo and you can turn a range on or off by clicking and then shift clicking. There's a volume control per Evo simply click and drag up and down and uh, we can affect them all at once by alt click and return it to the default state of 100% by command clicking and indeed we can return them all to the default state by command alt clicking then our pan controls again per evo and again we can alt click to affect them all and then alt command click return them all to the center please do contact us if you have any problems uh, we're available on spitfireaudio.com support thanks for listening